Hi bros, if you've got fat bike or e-bike with that kind of cheap front fork and if this front fork is not working very good, actually in my case it almost doesn't work after like two weeks of using it, then it means that some sand or dust get inside this fork through the gaskets and this sand is damaging the sliders inside. That's why it's almost doesn't work as you can see we've got even over here some oil or dust so i will show you in this episode how to open that kind of fork how to clean it and how to add some grease of course we will need some extra stuff like this 3d printed covers for the fork i use super flexible tpu as you can see i designed this and you can find files in the description for free so yeah i use this super flexible tpu is like no way to damage it if you don't have printer i can make them for you just pm me i recommend to use high quality grease for the forks of course you can buy some expensive money to rock shocks but this qib for deal by forks is one of the best because it's cheaper than rock shocks and it's working even better so if you can buy something like this then it could be perfect choice but actually any other grease for the forks will do the job if you've got 3d printer you can make that kind of funny tool thanks to it we can remove top caps in the fork it's super easy to use it and it's done but if you don't have printer you have to buy that kind of thing all links in the description it will be much easier to service this fork if we remove it from the bike Now you have delicately and quite precisely smashed this top part. I cannot find the hammer, so this is this funny part. Yep, and that's it. So this ring was just blocking this part to go up. This is actually a simple MTB system. And of course, that kind of stuff will help you a lot. Jesus, where is my hammer? Wings. and what the hell check this one out one of the bars is missing can you see it how this happened what the hell so the funny thing is that even with all this one bar inside this bearing i didn't feel that there is something wrong this is simple mtb bearing so it will be easy to find some replacement i think we can start with the top part so we can remove top caps and there is no oil inside so we shouldn't be worried about any oil leakage but we will see i never opened that kind of simple fork easy on the right side we've got that kind of short spring and on the left side we've got much longer spring and actually i don't see any dust or sand over here so so far so good under the fork we've got those two nuts which we have to unscrew if this nut is rotating with the bolt and you cannot remove it you will need that kind of long thing at the bottom of this lock we've got screw with imbus size 5 now we have to place this tool inside so as you can see the screw now is rotating which is good sign so now we have to hold one tool and rotating the other one and the first nut is removed the same for the other one Whoa. now we have to slowly and gently separate these two parts and looks like over here there is no any sand or dust so it's great i will not have to open this part and clean all this inner part because the sand was only over here but yeah it looks clean to me so great but for sure i will have to clean 
this part of the fork inside we've got plastic sliders well no qual low quality no surprise i will have to clean it at lots of grease and it will be it so let's do it actually this is not simple cloth it's covered by special detergent which is removing all possible oils grease so i do recommend to use something like this i could use do better service as you can see now on the video but there was not so many dust or sand inside this fork it was quite clean so simple cloth will do the job in this case Uh oh now when everything is clean it's time for those covers one side is thicker and this thicker side in this case is going at the bottom and actually worth to mention is that there is only one per perimeter so the thickness is only half millimeter so that's why it's so flexible and it will not break actually all my prints are not breaking easily and also expecting that this one will not break that easily and we are ready is it gonna win it should be ocean green and looks like it's gonna win so how much added in this case it's better to add too much than not enough you can use your finger and just place it a lot inside like a lot A little bit over here because there was no any grease and just slide it inside Super. everything is done now it looks like this we've got this printed covers and just check how smoothly is this fork working it was never worked that smooth before yeah it's working pretty decent i cannot wait to test this stuff so it was pretty easy fix, I do recommend to do it, it will for sure extend lifespan of the fork and now the ride will be much more confident than before and literally this fork never worked that smooth before. So bros, if you have any questions leave it in comment section, I will back to you and try to help. See you in next one.